Hi, let's talk about Jupiter for a second. As of May 24th, Jupiter has entered into the sign of Aries. Hold on, this is from the perspective of true sidereal astrology, not mainstream or tropical, true sidereal astrology. So if you're not familiar with that, if you've never heard of that before, and if you would like to investigate that more, definitely shoot me a DM. Okay, as of May 24th, 2023, Jupiter has entered into the sign of Aries. Now this is pretty significant for the collective because if you've been following me for a while, you know that I've been speaking of Uranus also being in Aries and Uranus in Aries creating a massive transformation in your sense of self. And this has been something that's really been going on for the past two years now, okay? So this has been an extended process, helping us, at least has been trying to help us get to a greater sense of fulfillment of who we are as individuals, a greater sense of authenticity and getting you in alignment with that, right? And now Jupiter has finally entered into Aries where he and Uranus are now going to be interacting with each other. Their influence is going to be in the sign of Aries. So for all my Aries out there in this true sidereal system, me being one of them, I am an Aries sun in this system. I'm sure at this point, many of you have started to recognize the shift, the change in your alignment with yourself. And also I'm feeling big shift for the collective has been self-actualization or identifying yourself outside of some sort of crowd. You are individualizing yourself. You're taking yourself away from some of the groups, organizations, or associations relationships, career paths, anything, you're kind of moving away from that if it's no longer serving you. As Uranus has been transiting through Aries, you may be starting to realize a radical difference in yourself that's kind of putting you in opposition with a lot of the societal or external situations you've been experiencing. So with that said, Jupiter coming into Aries now is kind of helping to accelerate this process, okay? Um, some dates to keep in mind here. Jupiter entered into Aries on May 24th of 2023 and is going to finish his transit by April 24th of 2024, where then he will be moving into Taurus. Now, because this is gonna be just under a year that Jupiter is going to be in Aries, right? First thing to keep in mind here is May 28th, Jupiter is going to be conjunct with the North Node. Now, this is pretty significant because the North Node, Uranus, and now Jupiter are all in Aries. And the North Node is really about our sense of direction, our spiritual journey, where we are heading on our spiritual journey, our spiritual development. And a lot of people tend to shy away from the energies of their North Node because it's so difficult to process or it's such a brand new thing or it's so uncomfortable. And so with that said, Jupiter conjuncting with the North Node in the beginning of this process is going to bring a heightened sense of awareness in terms of how you're moving forward on your spiritual path. With this Uranus in Aries situation, the universe has really been pushing us at this point to self-actualize, really identifying yourself, to really start understanding who you are, to really start stepping into your sense of self, no longer allowing external situations or circumstances to define you. You are needing to define yourself for yourself at this time. And with Jupiter now moving into conjunction with the North Node and Jupiter being such an expansive energy, it's really going to expand all of these central themes of how you may not have been honoring yourself. Here's the thing about Jupiter. He is an extremely benevolent energy, but homeboy is going to expand everything to extremes, okay? So in positive senses, we could be expanding some things that are really, really beautiful and really, really amazing. These are things that you may want to be expanded, but keep in mind, guys, he will expand things so much that maybe that'll get out of control or maybe that now becomes toxic because it's just too much, right? But then on the other side, he will potentially expand things that are negative in nature or things that you do not want. And when it comes to this situation specifically with this self-actualization, with this new sense of self that we're all coming into alignment with, the ways that you have not been self-actualizing may become expanded to an extreme at this point. And I do feel like for some of you here, there is a message of you've been dragging your feet. You really have been procrastinating. And if that is the case, this is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. And I'm not trying to scare you or trying to shame you, not trying to say, ha, 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 look at what you did. No, this is meant for self-actualization purposes. So whatever is expanded for you, and if it is in a negative sense, Jupiter is expanding these things so that you can see it, so that you can understand it fully at this time. So you can take the steps to reintegrate, I just heard 
or to take this self-actualization further. For some of you, I am picking up on, you have been working on this self-actualization process and you have been going through these experiences and you've been struggling with it. You've been trying and trying and trying and somehow it just doesn't seem like you're making any progress or anything like that. But when Jupiter enters into this situation, he is going to expand these situations for you. So it may seem like it's getting worse, but it's meant to help you. Again, remember Jupiter is benevolent, okay? And even though he's gonna fly off the rails and expand some things to extremes, it's really meant to help you. It's really meant for you to see the bigger picture. I have been saying this for a long time and I'm gonna keep saying this until I'm blue in the fucking face, okay? You are not going to be able to make any sort of changes to anything in your life unless you are aware of it or until you are aware of it. So even though some things may be coming up for you over this extended period of time between May 24th of 2023 and April 24th of 2024, even though some of these things may come up for you and they may be expanded, they may be really extreme, it's all meant for you to feel it, to perceive of it, to understand it in a better way so that you can move forward. For others of you, you weren't even really meant to move forward until now or until this point in the process. Everything that you've been experiencing, even though you may seem like you failed or you were unable to reach your goal, everything that you have been experiencing has been slowly ramping you up to this one big point where I feel like there's going to be some sort of main push, main rush of energy, and it could be really explosive. It could be really extreme, but ultimately it's going to be that momentum, that push that's going to get you out of this cycle that you've been working so diligently towards releasing yourself from, okay? So don't be afraid. No matter what is being expanded for you, no matter what is all up in your face, don't be afraid. You will be able to handle it. While Jupiter's process may be extreme, it's still benevolent. And I just saw 1010 on the counter as I said that. All right, next thing to keep in mind. September 23rd of 2023 through January of, January 2nd, excuse me, of 2024, Jupiter will be going retrograde. Now this is nothing new. This is nothing major. Jupiter does this once every six months, okay? <laughs> Regularly scheduled retrograde, right? And then also keep in mind, starting August 28th, Uranus is going to go retrograde. And it's funny because Uranus goes retrograde just as he enters into Taurus. He says, whoop, ha ha, tricked you. We're going back. So this is a good thing, all right? Because those who have really been struggling to take their power back, self-actualization, dealing with identity crises and all that kind of stuff, you have a chance to get back on track, okay? A retrograde, no matter what planet we're talking about here, 11, 11 on the counter, a retrograde is always a time period where you can rewrite some sort of programming. Now, here we're talking about self-actualization, Uranus in Aries and also Jupiter in Aries. So for those of you that that have really been struggling with all of this. You have a period, it's about a six month period, but you have a period to really start working on this reintegration process. I feel like some of you now are kind of feeling like you're late to the game, late to the party. Don't worry about that. You're getting there when you need to. You're not late. You're right on time for you, for your self-actualization process, okay? So use the retrograde motion of Jupiter and Uranus together in the same energy to help you rewrite any sort of programming, get over some sort of hurdles you've been struggling with, okay? Now, next, April 28th of 2020, 24, Uranus and Jupiter are going to be fully conjunct at this point, right before Uranus moves into Taurus, okay? Uranus moves into Taurus May 4th. May the 4th be with you. And, and right before that, Uranus and Jupiter are fully conjunct. Now, with Uranus and Jupiter going fully conjunct, I really feel like this is where the energies of this self-actualization process, all the healing, all the work that you've done throughout the retrograde, throughout this time period, can really start to take action or can really start to take shape. Because what I'm seeing is when Uranus finally moves into Taurus, that's when you can really start to build, break ground on building out developing, fleshing out, moving forward with, taking action from, living from this place of self-actualization that you have been under the process of developing throughout all this time. I really want to stress, for those of you that have been struggling with this, for those of you that feel like you are new to this self-actualization, you're just becoming aware of it, you're just starting to realize what's going on here, don't worry, you're not late, you're right on time for yourself. For those of you that have been really dragging your feet, look, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, get ready, cause this is gonna be some extreme shit. For those of you that have been really been procrastinating, I mean like you've been feeling this energy all along and you've just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. The universe is not gonna allow you to put it off forever. And the reason why is because you have agreed to come down here into this lifetime at this time and fix these things, heal these things, handle these things, and you just haven't been doing it. Why? This is your North Node process. Okay, that's fine. You're allowed to drag your feet. You all have free will here. And you can get out of this lifetime without having accomplished anything that you wanted or without completing the process. But it's gonna be strong 
struggle for you <laughs> to live the rest of this life in this less than self-actualized place. So the universe is about to come through and really shake some shit up for some of you. And it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be challenging because you have been denying this process all along. But don't worry, you just have to get through it. You just have to push through it. You're not gonna die. You're not being punished. But that's kind of how the universe works here. When you don't follow through with something, when you don't learn a lesson, when you don't complete something, it will come back. And often it'll come back stronger, more powerful or worse than it was before. And that's what I'm feeling like for some of you here. But don't worry, the self-actualization process is on, on the way. You do have the full support of the universe behind you. But all you have to do is follow through with the process. Just get through it. Just face whatever it is you need to face. Handle whatever is coming up. Deal with it. You'll be better off in the end. I promise you. Yes? Self-actualization, that's what we're here for at this time. Realizing who you are, stepping into your power, stepping into your abundance, and not letting anybody tell you shit about it. Love you. Bye.